Hey guys, I'm Lauren and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you've been on this YouTube journey with me so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Alright y'all, so let's get right into the video so I can show you guys how I achieved this gorgeous silk press on my natural hair at home in between salon visits. So I'm starting off by showing you all my hair before. I had just been wearing it pulled back in a little bun for the past two weeks, so it definitely was time for a fresh silk press. It's just, yeah. <laughs> okay, so getting right into it, I'm just taking my freshly washed hair out of the towel to go ahead and start the detangling process. After detangling my hair, I'm just gonna start parting it into four sections, then plait each section before starting the blow drying process. Yeah, I always put my hair into four different sections before blow drying because it just makes everything easier for me with my hair section off and just out of the way. So as you see, I'm just going along and putting my hair in those sections like I was just saying. But I want to let you know I did wash my hair before this with the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. I absolutely love that shampoo and conditioner. That is the only shampoo and conditioner I use. That's what I do. But this is just my technique that I do when I am at home and I'm not at the salon. Okay, so now I'm just going through my hair with my blow dryer and my paddle brush. I'm just blow drying each section from root to tip. Y'all, this blow dryer is so old. I don't remember the name of it or anything, but I've been using it for years. It always gets the job done for me, so hey, I can't complain. So a major key is just making sure your hair is as straight as possible before you go in to flat iron it. It'll make your silk press just more silkier and just straighter all around if you make sure that it's as straight as possible when you blow dry it.
As I finish up the blow drying process, I'm just going through making sure my hair is all dry and it's ready to be straightened out. So now I'm just going to go in with some heat relief thermal protector and conditioning mist by Aveda. It's just basically like a heat protectant spray and I'm just making sure I coat my hair from root to tip just to make sure my hair is protected while I go through and straighten it. So I'm just going to get my flat iron and I'm sectioning off my hair off in like small little pieces. Then I take a small tooth comb and then just comb each section of hair and then I follow it up by flat ironing it. And while I'm just showing y'all how I flat iron my hair, I actually just want to let y'all know that I am overdue for like a maintenance hair appointment at the salon. I like to keep my ends trimmed about every three months because I feel as if it helps my hair grow faster and it keeps it healthy. My last appointment was about four months ago, so I need to make sure I schedule my maintenance appointment as soon as possible. My hairstylist Ashley, she takes care of my hair and my hair maintenance needs like trimming my ends, deep conditioning and etc. She always makes sure she slays my hair and she makes sure my hair stays healthy. If you haven't already, check out my video where I brought you all along with me to the hair salon to get a silk press, but I will link it down in the description box below so y'all can check that out as well. Yeah, and the flat iron that I'm using is just an older Conair Infinity Pro flat iron, y'all. It's a really good flat iron and it gets my hair straight with like one or two passes. I haven't updated my blow dryer and my flat iron in years because, I mean, they both work just fine for me. But I have been wanting to try a new blow dryer and flat iron. So y'all, please feel free to leave me some good blow dryer and flat iron recommendations down below in the comment section.
Now I'm just going in with about two small pumps of the Aveda Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss to smooth the ends and add the final shine to my hair. A little bit of this goes a long way you guys. This finishing gloss also protects my hair against humidity too. I don't have to worry about frizz or humidity as long as I use this gloss. I only apply it on my hair after a fresh silk press and to me it just helps my silk press last while providing the perfect amount of moisture and shine. I'll have it linked down below in the description box as well. All right, y'all, so here is the final silk press. This is just what it looks like when I'm all done. I absolutely love it. It's so silky and so straight. Yeah, I can go on and on, but I love it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video of me showing you all how I silk press my natural hair on my own at home. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know some good blow dryer and flat iron recommendations down below in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.